So we've got this really cool guest. I kind of want to bring her on. Uh, yeah, I know you're cool with it. Bye, Anthony. All right, Jenna, you ready? Hey, let's go. All right, we got to run. I'm Eric Murphy, and this is Jenna Belk. Hi, everyone. It is June 16th, 2019. It's Father's Day, and um, I'm so happy that we're all here together. Uh, it's season three, episode 24, and I've just, oh my goodness. Jenna, thank you so much for coming out. <laughs> Yeah, it's the least I could do. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I know you've been on the nonprofits. You were on the Atheist Experience last week. And uh, you get to be on with me. So, I think you might be going backwards, but... No, I'm okay not with that. at all. <laughs> I'm just dancing around. Well, dig it. Dig it. Um, so, I kind of wanted to introduce the audience to you. Okay. Who are you? Um, well, now, I'm officially the newest co-host addition to the Atheist Experience. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that feels really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm a guest host, I guess, on a bunch of other things. So just I kind of fill in where I can and try to yeah. talk about things that I think can help. Well, I'm, I'm really happy to see you here. I know that um, I was here when you first came to the ACA. Mm -hmm. And um, you were a baby atheist. Yeah, you? I kind of adopted that name on a couple on the secular <laughs> sexuality shows that I've been on. I've been yeah. labeled the baby atheist. For well, it's 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 amazing because that was not too long ago. No, less than a year. Less than a year. Yeah, about six months actually. And I, the 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 wonderful thing is, is every time I see you, you're like a sponge. I mean, every time we're talking, you just you just want to know more. You want to explore, and you are not afraid of facing down those things that might make you uncomfortable or might challenge your preconceived notions about things. And it's admirable. It's something that I absolutely love. And mm -hmm. I, I really, really hope that people can get that when they see you on the air, that it's not just being the person who needs to know everything going, you know, starting out, but it's about kind of confronting your own, you know, what you don't know and, and learning together. I think that people can relate to that. And I, I, it's awesome. And yeah. it's brave. And it's interesting because it's not like becoming an atheist was like an ending point. Right. Becoming an atheist was like a starting point. I, I realized that I had to readdress how my brain works and how to live my life. And um, I've literally been obsessed with learning the past six months because I've become almost addicted to that discovery of being wrong because I've been wrong about so many things now that I'm like seeking out okay 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 let's find what else am I wrong about let's let's talk about something new guys <laughs> and it's just it's fascinating to me it's fun and and it's it's addressing that discomfort we've talked about that discomfort quite a bit right and um I like I said, I, I could just gush over you. I'm, I'm really happy that you're here. Um, I do want to get a couple of announcements out before we dive right in. Mm -hmm. um, I missed everybody. I'm so happy to be back on the air. Um, I'm back at the ACA uh, from my medical leave, and I'm ready to take on the world. And I'm, I'm just, I'm excited, and I just want to say thank you to everybody who helped support me through that. Um, I also want to say happy Father's Day to happy those fathers who, uh, who deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> um, to my grandpa, uh, to the father I wish I would have had my whole life, but I get to have now, Jeff. Happy Father's Day. Um, love you. And uh, I, I, I do have a couple things. Um, I'm not going to be here next weekend. Okay. I am going to be in Tennessee, actually, doing the Ask and Wonder event That's at the right. Donaldson Fellowship. Yeah, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I believe it's free, and uh, people can check that out uh, by going to askandwonder.com. Um, I'm going to be uh, doing a roundtable against two presuppositional apologists. Oh, my because gosh. Because I hate myself. <laughs> that um, should be fun, though. <laughs> it, it does seem fun, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do it. Um, as always, we're going to be thanking our top five patrons right around the middle of the show. So if you would like to become a patron, we don't have major donors. Our Patreon is patreon.com slash talkheathen to me. That's patreon.com slash talkheathen to me. Every dollar counts. 
Um, and we really deeply, sincerely appreciate it because it, it empowers us to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, we do not have full lines, but we're getting close. If you're a theist caller, we're going we're gonna to have preference for you. You can always call 512-686-0279. That's 512-686-0279. Was there anything else before we jumped in? Um, did you want to talk about... Um just kind of the different dynamic yeah, that sure. I bring. Um, just we, we started talking a little bit before the show about why I'm here, and I'd been reading the comments on the atheist experience, and a couple of people are kind of wondering, you know, what I have to bring, because I'm not as educated or as informed as some of the as every single host that I've seen on any of these shows so far. Um, but the I think that what it is is that I I'm still so fresh in the old way of thinking, mm-hmm. and understand this um this new dynamic enough to still relate yeah um without fully understanding the you know the actual rules and of logic yet you know it's that you don't have to be fully educated to get it you know and 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 you have to dive in it's 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 funny um i was getting the same kind of comments under the uh my my last debate because it was my first Right. You know, public debate, and people are saying you you don't start out perfect. You have to start somewhere, right. and um, the fact that you're going on this journey publicly is unbelievable. I'm really, really glad you're doing it. Thanks. So yeah. yeah, all right. Should be fun. So who did you want to talk to first? Let's hit up Chad. Let's talk to Chad. Chad helped us uh, test the lines before the show. Chad, you're live with Eric and Jenna. How are you doing? Oh, great, wonderful. Thank you for taking my call. Oh, yes, thank you. Hi, thank Jenna. You in. Hi, Eric. All right. Okay. I was wondering how Jenna got the position because I'm interested in hosting a show one day. Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I, you, you know I'm what? San there's Diego. there's so. plenty of room on the internet. I mean, you can start on you can start up on YouTube. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, I've it, seen. It's, um, it's, I, I want. I, I want to thank you guys uh, so much. First of all for encouraging critical thinking and encouraging people to think because what religion does is makes people not really um, question anything about religion. Mm -hmm. Literally read the book and um, do what the book says and believe it 100%. Mm -hmm. And despite all the flaws, all the uh, the, the immoral stuff in most books. Um, so I want to thank you so much for opening people's eyes into thinking whether, you know, they keep believing or not, that's a different story. Whether their religion is beneficial or not, that's a different story. But at least so they're being wanna, critical. So thank you, guys. Yeah, well, we, we got we to think. We, we have a brain, yeah. and we got to think. So right. what did you want to talk about? So today I want to talk about uh, bias and both, you know, atheists and uh, um, uh, theists. And uh, the reason why I'm saying this, because usually the conversation goes this way. Um, Give me a reason to believe that there is God. Otherwise, by default, um, you know, there is no God. Um, You know, you have to, you, you have the burden of proof. And which is true, I agree with you guys. However, um, you know, there are signs, there are um, things that you might want to think about and consider to um, not to make a conclusion there is God, but to have doubt whether or not those gods actually exist. And I'm not talking about the classical God, you know, the Abrahamic God or Abrahamic religions. I'm, I'm talking about, um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Sumerian civilization. I mean, I, I've, I've studied some, but why don't you describe your God to us so we don't talk past you? Okay, so so I, I doesn't mean I'm, I'm, I'm worshiping this God, I'm just just to be clear. Yeah. I'm not, I, it's not like I'm saying I have a God that I'm, I worship and I, I love and he does the miracles. And, and does good things for me. No. Um, the reason why I, I say... Uh, Wait, are you... you know, I, hold I, on. Yes. Chad, is yes. this a God that you believe in? Okay, so I believe there are gods that exist okay. or existed or 
They still exist. Okay. Okay. How, 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 how do you know? Bugs? Yes. Okay. So look, that's that's why I brought up the Sumerian um, um, uh, civilization. So when you look at the the, the tablets that they found, archaeologists found found, mm-hmm. and they translated the the the, 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 the language and what they're talking about. Um, there is there is evidence that there, those people, whoever they claim that there were gods, existed. Sure. So, so you might say it's a mythic. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So, so uh, I'm, I'm just I want to make sure that I'm following you. If I buried okay. a copy of Spider Man, the comic mm-hmm. book, and correct brought it back up, you know, uh, two thousand mm-hmm. years from now, three five thousand years from now, would that mean right. that? Spider-Man existed as a real deity in this world. You know, it's a it's a it's a great uh, point. Uh, however, when you uh, start from that, uh, you know, the Sumerian civilization of those tablets, and you go to the Abrahamic religions, and you you make a comparison, and you see the the differences between the two or similarities. You see, there is a smoking gun. So, so what I'm talking about. Wait, not, wait a second. Wait a second. Where's the smoking gun? What smoking gun? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I understand that uh, you know uh, billions of billions of believers does not make the religion true. Correct. Or the gods true. I understand that, and I, I, I'm with you 100. Mm-hmm. percent Okay. But. Um, so, so where's so the evidence? Pick, let's say. Well, like I said, the problem with you guys is that well, but where's show the me evidence? evidence. Show me. Like, like I said, see, see what what you're trying to do here is uh, is, is you say and give me evidence. So no matter what evidence you get, or no matter no matter what um, what what things that is brought to light. You, you dismissed that. Bullshit. But evidence. we haven't given us any. Yeah, no, hold no, on, no, Chad. Not bullshit. No, no, I'll tell you why it's okay. bullshit. I'm, I'm holding okay. a mug. Okay. I'm holding a mug right here. I'm, I, I, if, if you're not watching, <clears throat> I am holding a mug. This mug says godless bitches on okay. There's more evidence for this mug than there is for your god currently. I'm asking, oh, no, I'm not god. asking for good evidence even. I'm asking for evidence at all. Something. Start with okay. a it's piece of god. evidence what, so and then it's, from maybe, there maybe move start, on to... More. Maybe start with why do you, why do you, Chad, believe that mm-hmm. there are gods? Mm-hmm. Just right there. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, um, so like I said, it's uh, the the problem you guys are having is that you. But why won't you answer my whatever, question, Chad? Quote unquote evidence. You keep telling no, me I'll, what I'll our problem is, question. and you won't no, answer I'll, my I'll, question. I'll, Oh, so you dismiss everything. So that's part but of. But I haven't question. dismissed answer, anything yet. I'm yeah. trying to ask you a question, and you won't give me an answer. Instead, you're going to give me a defensive response about how I'm not listening, and I'm trying to ask you a question. Okay. Well, I'm not saying you're not listening at all. What I'm saying is you're biased by the the, the, what the bias? fact that you're dismissing. Okay. So so here's the thing. Uh, I'm uh, I'm bringing up a, an example of quote unquote gods that. Um, you know, archaeologists uh, found there existed, and you're dismissing all the idea, saying that oh, that's uh, if I if I if I bury a a book of Spider-Man somewhere for, for thousands of years, and I, someone finds it, does it mean that's a, that's a god or not? Right. Okay. So that's what you what are you doing? Yeah, so no, what, no. Okay. So, so, so hold on. The, so what happened there was he he was trying to predict where you were going with that. He saw where you were going, and he was trying to pre- kind of shorten the conversation because we're on such a short show when we're trying to get to as many callers as we can, and so he's trying to help kind of get to the okay. point really quickly. He wasn't trying to dismiss okay. you. Yeah. So this is, so this is well, let's back up just a little bit, and just, just let's start from why, why do you believe that gods exist? Let's just start right there, and then we can take your answer, and then we'll dissect yeah. it and try to figure out what's going on. And, and, and to be clear, I, I, I want to add on to that. Chad, the reason I did that, yeah. um, she's absolutely right, is the, the cutting forward piece was the logic that you just used was poor logic. And I showed you an example by using the exact same logic with Spider-Man to show you that it's not a good methodology of getting to know what is true. 
that is not summarily dismissing for bad reasons. If it should be dismissed because it's bad reasoning, then it should be dismissed, and you should want that too. Don't you want to know what's true, Chad? Absolutely. Okay, so then why would you be upset when you find out that you were using bad logic? That should be helpful. Oh, I'm, I'm not upset. Okay. Oh, believe me, I'm not upset. Perfect. I'm not upset at okay, all. Cool. No, no. Okay, uh, so cool. uh, like, okay, like yeah, you said, no, no, go ahead and, and tell us why yeah. you believe that those guys existed. Okay, like I said, um, I suggest, okay, even if it, it's not about, you know, me wanting to, to believe that they exist or so, uh, I'm putting out the possibility that they do exist. How do you and, know that? Uh, and, uh, why do you believe okay, that? Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Yes. Fair question. So, so you said you said first of all you said your God. Uh, it's not my God. Okay. I, Just uh, FYI. I said, why do so you believe, believe that any gods God. exist? Okay. So, like I said, uh, do some research. I'm, uh, I'm asking you. At, Yes, I did some research. That's what I'm telling you. Right, so I could uh, go and Google God and come up with 50,000 different answers. So I'd like to know why you believe what you believe. So I'd like to know Mm -hmm. not what Google tells me, not what other people tell me. I'd like to know directly from you, why do you believe Mm -hmm. that any gods exist? Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's not uh, black or white, you know. Yes, it kind of is. Do they exist? Are you saying they don't exist? No, no, what I'm... (laughs) What I'm saying is there is a possibility that those gods that they were uh, mentioning existed. There is a possibility, yes. So is there a possibility that Peter Pan could exist? (laughs) I'm I'm actually being very serious right now. Like I said... It's you you just gotta do some research and so can you answer my question, please? Okay, can, can can you can you uh, do me a favor and just do some research and uh, did you did you do? Any, I've been trying. I've been doing research this in, for months, years. I mean, I've been doing research. That's why I've decided to get down to the okay. point and figure out why do you believe okay. that any gods exist? Mm-hmm. And if you say it's possible, well, I'm going to say okay. Well, I found that it's possible that Peter Pan could exist, but okay. So, but so, after deciding that I wanted that to be true and doing a little bit of research, I found that I had no reason to believe that he does, but I can't prove that he doesn't, so I'm not going to go there. So why do you? Okay, so l- let me ask you this. A thousand years ago, uh, if, let's say, now we can identify smell, right? Uh, we can identify it scientifically. We can, we can, we can uh, look for... Um, for 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 and, and how to identify it, uh, Wait, but before smell? ten thousand years ago, if you have a smell, a smell, whatever a smell, a snail, is, snail, yeah. snail. I thought you were talking not about the snail, olfactory sense. No, no. I don't know what that has to do with God or well, any well, God. Hold on, it might be an example. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't you make a point? I'm trying to make a point. I'm sorry. So, uh, so 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 you smell something, right? You smell perfume. You smell, oh, you part, smell. whatever it is that you smell, right? Mm-hmm. So. Um, so, so then, uh, now you could prove, right, uh, in this era with science, you could prove that that smell exists, correct? Hmm. I mean, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Th- th- we, we've we've been. You could able prove that to... a smell exists by sampling and asking other people, "Hey, do you smell something? Do you smell something? Mm. Do you smell something?" We, but we know that the we can it, test it. Yeah, existence of part particles in the air but um, can i prove that i'm smelling the, the same thing that eric is smelling well maybe uh, that's kind of a that's different, a different that's that's a different rabbit hole that we i'd rather not go down if we don't have okay to. fair enough <laughs> um but chad go on okay so we we, we we can prove that things are smelly because they're smelly smells and okay. we test them and we can Great. find the existence Great. of the particulates that, that 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 are creating uh-huh. the smelly smell and we can test for the existence okay. of that particulate matter mm-hmm. So, so, so we take a group of people, let's say ten people, and they smell and they describe how, what they smell, and they could, uh, you know, they can they can describe it, you know, musty or or smell good, good smell uh, smells good or not, and all those uh, uh, type of things. And then you have a scientist that comes in and analyzes the particles and confirms that the smell is this or this or that, that based on pattern and based on what they find in the air. Let's say. Okay. Okay. okay? This is this is today. So if we go back a thousand years from now, and you have a group of people, ten people, let's say, smelling the same thing, 
they could say, they could, po- could point out, could agree, uh, or, or nine of them could agree that, yes, that they, they smell something. But there's no science that backs this up. They could not prove it, okay. can they, a thousand years ago? Well, so I, I go on. What, what's your point here? Okay, the point is the smell exists whether or not the science confirms it. So how do you know Correct? that the smell didn't stop existing? Well, well and, and, and even even there, I, I, I kind of see where he's, where he's going. Um, you can get in your car, Jenna, and not know how your car works, but be able to drive it here. But if I wanted to know how it worked, then I could find out. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying is this is something that's that I want story, to know though. and I can't find out. I can't find, I can find pieces of my car to figure out how my car works. And you can also go to okay. where it can get shown to right. you. you. I can, can learn about it. So how can we learn about the existence of your God, Chad? And I'm saying you because I really don't it's give a shit. Oh my God, please okay. don't, call it, don't call it my God. Do you have God. any gods? Okay, I don't worship any it's gods. It's a thug, it's a, whatever, whatever you guys call Sorry it. Sorry about it's that. It's a thug to me, it's a immoral, uh, you know, immoral Any, God, any you know, gods. Whatever it is. Okay, okay. so you think, that, you, you think that okay. gods exist and they're assholes? You don't? Well, well, there's a possibility they do exist in that way. And, uh, and you know, if, if, let's say, take the Bible, and I shouldn't take the Bible as face value. I, I would never do that. And I never believed in, in any religion, by the way, just okay. FYI. But what I'm saying is the, possi- the possibility of this thug, God, exists, okay? Or okay. Gods. How do you know? And then... Well, well, but why? Like I, said, why? I, 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 I didn't finish my, my train of thought with the example I used. Okay, okay so, okay. so you're, you're talking about the, smells. Uh, they didn't okay. know how smell worked, but they could right. agree that a smell was right. there. Keep going. Correct. So, so now, let's take their religion as, you know, millions or billions of people uh, talk about, quote, unquote, proof or the, the Holy Spirit was with them, or whatever it is, right? And we could dismiss all those people, right? And we say, you're insane, okay? What you were taught when you were young from your parents, now you just, uh, you're repeating that. So, so we dismiss it, and we say, no, I'm not going to believe in whatever you're saying, right? But what I'm saying is from, that, from the sample of the 10 people, you got nine people that saying, oh, you know, perhaps... There is something there, and uh, I feel the spirit. I feel this and this and this and that, okay? And, and more and more people. Are we talking about billions and billions of people? Do you think those billions of people, they just, they, most hey, of them so probably they are just following. Yes, go for it. You keep talking about how many billions of people believe this. Do you think that that has any bearing on whether or not it's true? No, I, I'm not saying that at all. Okay, right. and how about, and how about this? So, would you agree, so I'm Chad? I'm making an analogy. Yeah, would, would, yeah. Would, would you agree that, in, uh, that, that there are holy text, uh, texts that have mm-hmm. described things that we know and have well documented as mental illness? Absolutely. Okay, fantastic. Then I think we found an example that works very well within your framework. <laughs> um, is, there no, anything else that, yeah, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, no, I mean, just, uh, just like I said, uh, I, okay. I wish, you know, you guys just, uh, just consider, uh, we are and just keep into... looking for the evidence and call us back when you got it. Yep. Oh, and... I, I've been looking since I was four years old, you know, Okay, we'll find, uh, when I'm you find gonna... it, let us know. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You're amazing. <laughs> you are too. This is fun. Alex in Hi, Iowa. Alex. Hi. Hi. Hello. You're talking to Eric and Jenna. Hello. So, what can you, you hear us? I can. Can you? Yes. Yes, you were coming in a little low, but I think you're fine now. What would you like to talk about today? Hi. Um, well, actually, I just kind of wanted to talk about the relationship between kind of the atheist, skeptical, scientific community and the religious uh community cool um which is yeah um which is a community i i kind of feel like i'm a person that lives in both of those worlds oh, so. um, uh you know i'm a religious person and i have been all my life um at the same time 
I also, you know, am a real follower of, of science and believe in scientific literacy and, and critical thinking. Um, mm-hmm. And, uh, and, you know, I'm okay. amazed at some of the, and amazed at some of the things that people believe and read off the internet. <laughs> and it's like, oh, mm-hmm. come on, please. Don't well, do that. Come on. No. What's, exactly. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, yeah. Yeah. So, and I, and I just, in the past, you know, five to 10 years that that relationship just seems to have just blown up mm-hmm. and become a lot more contentious. And I was like thinking through why. And I think a lot of the blame for that falls a lot more on the theist Christian side what? than it does the other side. So what do you um, believe? Um, about the, about the, the relationship or, or my religious beliefs. Your, what are your religious beliefs? Well, well, uh, d- before we dive right into it, it sounded like he was going to make a point about the relationships between. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, exactly. I did not mean to cut you off. Yeah, well, that's fine. Um, and like I said, it's just, I, I think a lot of that falls on the theist side just because, um, you know, mm-hmm as a whole, or maybe not as a whole, but the loudest members of that community um, have not done a very good job at promoting scientific literacy. Uh, In fact, they've done their best to suppress it. Mm -hmm. Um, Hey, hey, Alan? We have, have, yes. I just wanted to tell you, um, I'm taking a look at the live chat and... Uh There, everybody's rooting for you. It sounds like you're a little nervous. Take a breath. It's okay. Everyone here is oh. happy that you've called in. And the comments that I'm getting are, dude, it's okay. Take a breath. You're good. We're happy. We're good. Thank you. I promise. Thank you. Yeah, I've never like really uh, called. You're... Well, thank you. I've never really <laughs> called into anything like this before. So. You're, you're hey, doing well. Um, yeah. So no, no, no sweat. We're not, we're not mean. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> try not to be. We try not to be. But. Right. Yeah. So you were saying that um, I'm sorry that I cut you off, but you, it, it sounds it sounded to me like you were saying that there's this contentious relationship between Christians and atheists or religious people and atheists, mm-hmm. and you're seeing more yeah. um, fault kind of on the religious side because they're not really promoting uh, scientific skepticism and uh, promoting you know the tools that cause people to explore the universe around them, and that's kind of the right. last that I got from what you were saying. Yeah. Um, and then in addition to that, um, we also have not done a very good job at at living out the ideals that we're um, supposed to live out. We haven't done a good job at ensuring that people uh, who are in need are cared for. Well, the re- um, and we haven't done a good job at kind of, you know, minding our own business and taking care of ourselves first. And... Um, so so the reason that I had asked do. so early what your beliefs were were because it kind of sounds like you're going somewhere mm-hmm. and it's like when you say something like we're not acting the way that we're supposed to, I wonder why you say that. I wonder how are we supposed to act? Yeah, we're, we're, And we're, that's we're, why I was like, well, what do you believe? Because I, I, I'm just trying to kind of get where you're coming from. Yeah. Sure. You know, I... Uh, give, give us give us some I've, meat to chew in yeah. to. Uh, you, 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 sure. you, you, you've set up the stage. Mm-hmm. We're ready. Now we're ready to engage with you. Yeah. As I've spent more time um, and doing more digging into what it actually meant to be a religious person and, and specifically for my religion, um, it meant, you know, trying to actually live out um, what the Bible says you're supposed to do. Um, There's, uh, I can't remember who it is, but there's uh, uh, Rob Bell, I think his name is, um, had a teaching that that basically said that some of the uh, original Jews, they would find uh, a rabbi, and uh, they would follow him. And their job was to do their best to uh, be like their 
their rabbi to. And so the application is that we're really supposed to, as Christians, just do our best to live the way Christ would. Okay. And it, I, this is starting and to sound for the like, most part, Alex, this is starting to sound yeah. like a sermon. We're, 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 we're I, wanting, sorry. We're wanting to engage with you, but you're not asking us any questions uh, or giving us any statements that we can bounce back with you. Um, oh, sorry. you got to help here. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, okay. I'm a little nervous. Anyway, my, my whole point is just that um, that's, that's what I try to do. You know, like I try not to um, mix politics with religion, that sort of thing, just because that's what I feel like I'm supposed to do. Um, so those are kind of my personal beliefs that it's like, I should really be minding my own business. I should be, um, uh, Okay. Doing my best to take care of the people around me just because that's what I believe right. he would have done. And I don't see um, the church in America especially doing that. What so, I see is is a lot of I, argumentative behavior. Right, and you're, you're completely right, and it's frustrating. And what... Th- th- this is just starting to sound like a like you're wondering if you're doing the right thing or, or, or talking about a thing, this might not be the right platform or show for this kind of conversation. This well, is more of something but, that yeah, we can get real quick, with real, each other. Real quick before, before we mm-hmm. change. Well, when I think about what I'm supposed to do, what am I supposed to do and how I mm-hmm. used to think about it and how I think about it now, and I, I used to be a Catholic, I used to think about, mm-hmm. well, who am I going to ask to tell me what I'm supposed to do? And so I'm spending my entire life seeking out other people that are supposed to be the perfect example of what I'm supposed to be. And I found out that I'm not going to find that because there is no perfect person. There is no perfect example of who I'm supposed to be. I have to find that out myself. So when I think about anything that I'm supposed to do when it comes to anything, like, for example, minding your own business, I'm not exactly minding my own business right now. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I'm reaching out to people and I'm help, trying to help people. I'm trying to have conversations. I'm trying to influence change. I'm not exactly minding my own business. Is minding your own business necessarily the only way to be? Well, sometimes, yeah, and sometimes, no. It just kind of depends. So it's up to you, ultimately, to decide what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? That makes sense. It does. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, is that helpful? I guess if there's... It is. Yeah, I guess if there's uh, a question that I would uh, pose to the two of you, then uh, mm-hmm. is is the the conversation has turned. It seems to me less from a question of does God exist or does God not exist to to a bunch of people on both sides just trying to like shout each other down and 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 force each each other to convert one way or the other and it seems to me that that as long as everybody was just you know people could could kind of go to their churches and, and believe what they wanted to believe and not oppress anybody with their beliefs and yeah. people that didn't believe anything could not believe anything and that was fine and yeah, but, but now, now we now racist uncle bill that you only had to deal with two twice a year for the holidays uh has mm. the internet and has been let right. loose on the world and everybody's mm. crazy uncle bill mm-hmm. and racist uncle bill is and it's it's terrifying like i <laughs> i totally right. i totally get it i i, I think <laughs> the best way to approach that though is to recognize that toxicity's been there. We're just mm-hmm. learning as a society how to deal with it now that we can't turn our heads away and ignore it. And that's why we're here on this mm-hmm. show and trying to have these calm, respectful conversations is because we're sick of it too. Totally, man. Mm-hmm. So, we want to talk. Yeah, so sure. how, about, how about on your end, you promote that. On our end, we'll promote it. Yeah. And we'll try and uh, make this world a better place from both sides. That makes sense. Do you cool. think there's still a place where both of those people can go back to coexisting peacefully? It depends person to person, I think. But I really fucking hope so. There's, I mean... <laughs> we have, we've got a lot of work to do, and we have to share this world together. 
Um, mm-hmm. We can't agree on every last thing before we're ready to be neighbors. Mm-hmm. Um, we can disagree sure. on things. Here's the difference. The difference is um, there are organizations, and I think you and I would probably agree that we can take a look at um, horrible, what, what, what did uh, the scathing atheist call them? Rape cabal, the Catholic Church. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> that um, they, there, there are organizations that are actively um, hiding child predators. Right. And preventing mm-hmm. them from coming to justice. Right. We have organizations where um, there are these there are these pastors that are standing up and saying, oh, I can heal you if you give me all of your money. There are people who are taking advantage of, of you know, people who are on a fixed income. Uh, the, the poorest among us are being taken advantage of by prosperity gospel crud. And um, while we do have to live and work together, when we see injustice, when we see hate being espoused, doesn't matter where it comes from, right? If we see someone taking advantage of people that we should be caring for, we're going to stand up. Mm-hmm. We're going to be the change that we want to see yeah. in the world. And you can do it Absolutely. too. I think, I think that's all any of us can do. Yeah. Well, we Got hope so. on the same page. All right. That's, I, I think that's a good place to end it, man. Call back Thank you. sometime. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. That was upbeat. Yeah. I like that. Cool. Yeah. So right now, um, we're, we're talking about this. We're talking about make, making the world a better place. And yet right now in Orlando, Florida, mm. uh, there's a hate conference going on. And um, it's, it's heartening to see the amount of people who are standing up and going, this is wrong. Mm-hmm. And... Um, it does hurt to see that hate, but it's not new. We just aren't able to close our eyes to it anymore. And so, it but hey, we... the more we talk about it, the more it motivates people. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. That's how I got motivated to talk about this stuff. Is yeah. I don't know. All right. Um, so, just for my own funsies, um, I really want to talk to Slim okay. in California. What's up, Slim? Hey, Slim. Hey, how are, how are you? you doing? Oh, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know I was going to be on this this soon. <laughs> yeah, well, I saw your topic and it just piqued my interest. What would you like to okay. talk about today? Yeah, uh, so I I am a Christian uh-huh. and I believe uh, the Bible is the Word of God, and I believe God gave us two unchangeable laws: the natural laws, which correspond with. Uh, True science, objective uh, reality, and uh, rationality. And he's also given us spiritual laws which deal with uh, morality and absolute truth. And individuals have to decide whether they want to reject or accept those uh, laws or rules. And I believe, too, also in Jesus, he never forced anyone to accept the truth, he expressed it. Those that wanted to hear it listened or sought after him. Okay. And those hey, that didn't. Mm-hmm. So, yes, go ahead. Let's, so you're, you're throwing out a lot of stuff, and it's all really good, and okay. I really appreciate you being okay. so honest. Um, you're just throwing a lot. And so can, is there any way that we can kind of summarize why you believe in a Christian God? Otherwise, I'm going to start zooming in on what you've already said. Yeah, so we can go a lot oh, of different okay. directions. So okay. do you want to do you want to yeah. try to summarize it and condense it down to which direction you want to go? Or would you rather me well, zoom I, in I on guess, what you already <laughs> said? I, I, I guess I want to uh, talk about... Uh, Mainly, I guess the uh, the uh, Cambrian uh, explosion, uh, where there are no tradi- tra- transitional forms, and w- I'm wondering how is that possible? If it's based, if if uh, evolution is based this on science, uh-huh. why isn't there why isn't there any Slam? strong examples of of that? To show. I got you, Slim. I am okay. so proud to tell you that that information uh-huh. has changed a lot 
in the last 50 years because mm -hmm. honestly the idea of transitional fossils not being a thing has been debunked and we've found transitional fossils and we found more transitional fossils and then we found transitional fossils between those transitional fossils and then we went you know what uh, if this is true and we evolved in this direction, then we should be able to find evidence of this transitional fossil here, predicted it, and then found it. So um, there are a ton of places you can go, but the first place I would go is a university okay. um, because you can actually learn it. There are people who dedicate their lives to it. Um, there are, and honestly, dude, if that wasn't true, do you know how big the conspiracy would have to be? My goodness. Yeah. Most of us would be in on it, right? Oh, yeah, well, or, or, or we would accept it because, or, or we would accept, and, and I, 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 that's why I got some pencils and papers so I can write down whatever information you can share with me regarding cool. that, and I will... I will look in, into that. So, uh, so then while well, we talk, I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the live chat to start linking and sending in some good places that we can send Slim. Okay. And yeah. the first person okay. is saying that you need to look up the fossil called Tiktaalik. T-I-K-T-A-A-L-I-K. E-I-K. Mm -hmm. T-A-A. T-A-A. L-I-K. Tiktaalik. L-I-K, L-I-K, okay. Go on to TikTok, mm -hmm. that's online, go online. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, you can also okay. go to talkorigins.com. Talk Origins. That's my favorite one. Dot com. Because that can give you a lot more okay. than just one example. That'll give you a lot of origins. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, also, check out r and Ra. Um, yeah. Aaron Ra has got a ton of videos on that. And, he gets pumped about it. And when it comes to evolution specifically, um, he's got a lot. What's his name? Aaron Ra. A R O N R A. A R O N O A? R A. So Aaron, A R O N, and then Ra. R A. R -A. Yep. Okay. Okay. He's, he's because there have been paleontologists and stuff uh, probably dating back about 30, 40 years uh, that also, either evolutionists that have uh, made comments also about uh, nothing really uh, existing in that regard. So, yeah. You, and, you, and when you ask how that was possible, uh, uh, conspiracy, said, no, no, we, we, we respect uh, people we look up to. And that's sure. whether people are in the church or outside the church. Mm -hmm. If we respect people, they can tell us things because they have intelligence, knowledge. They've been to the best of schools. They have degrees behind their name. Uh, some of them are insincere. They manipulate whether they're in the church or out of the church and abuse their authority. So they can convince a large variety of people. We can look at history well, and I see that has happened. I, I am proud to say, Slim, that um, if that were – so, n number one, if that were the case, then it would not make sense for people, you know, on completely – in completely different countries that didn't like each other with those same kinds of degrees to be making up the same lies. Um, this, is, this is not only across one field. There are tons and tons of sciences that are dedicated to just this in different places and areas that have predicted a bit predictive ability across fields. Um, I, I'm proud to tell you that your information is way out of date, um, but that's good. It means you get I'll look, I'll, you get to learn about it. Yeah. Um, other people in the live chat have said that you've got to check out Berkeley University's website. Uh, that's come up a ton. Um, also, let's see. Berkeley. We. Mm -hmm. And can you, oh, would you know, like, a couple of names of the uh, actual it's, it's, it, transitional it, forms? Well, uh, Tectolic is one of them. Um, but Berkeley's biology website. Okay. Um, and we'll go from there. Um, I really hope you look okay. it up. And I, here, here's I'll, the thing. I'll look it up. I, don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't think either of us have a relevant degree. So when it comes to going in deep, 
um, we may not be the resource. But if you want to talk about more surface level stuff or about philosophical arguments or things like that, I highly urge you to call uh, back. And regardless, I'd love to okay. find out what you found out. Let us know. Report okay. back. See uh, what you think. Yeah. Give me, give me, yeah, give me, give me a, a little uh, couple of weeks or so, and I'll uh, I'll probably uh, check back in with you guys yeah, on what, uh, what I looked up. Sounds cool. good, man. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for uh, allowing me a little time on the air. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right, bye. Okay. Have a great day. You too. This is a good day so far. I know, right? <laughs> I, you know, I, he said there are no transitional fossils. I saw that. I was like, oh my goodness, we're gonna have a fight. <laughs> and then we're just like, okay, here's more information. He, He's like, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's great. That's all we're asking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Mm. Uh, oh my goodness! Okay, let's let's go to Dave in Missouri. Hi, Dave. Hello. Hello. Hey, you're talking to Eric and Jenna. What would you like to talk about today? Hey guys. Hello. Hey, I just listened to that last conversation you had, and I'm curious when you were talking about your um, the transitional bones. When these bones were discovered, did they come with instructions, or how do you know that these are actual? human transitional bones. I mean, was there any any kind of writings from that time period saying that these were transitional figures or I mean I'm just curious how you accept one hundred percent that these bones are transitional bones so, because I don't So Adrian or that, not Adrian that one, that one gets me, you know, it's just a bone that was found in the ground. How do you Dave? know it wasn't a you know Dave. monkey? Dave. Yeah, buddy. I didn't know if I was on mute. You were kept talking. I kept trying to jump in. Why are you putting words in my mouth? I didn't say I believe with oh, absolute just, certainty you know, anything. Putting words in your mouth. You you were talking about your your transitional bones, the yeah. tonic or whatever bone. And you, you said that I mouth. believe one hundred percent a thing. I do not believe one hundred percent that I exist. I couldn't prove to you. So why the hell would okay. I say that about anything else? Because you just said with your last guy you had a conversation with you thought you guys were going to get into an argument there for a minute so it made it sound to me like you were a big believer in the theory of evolution is that, am i correct or am i wrong so in the same way that i believe that gravity and germ theory exist there is yeah, whatever. do you oh. not think that germs exist oh i know they do you exist. not believe in gravity absolutely believe in so it. then what do you mean yeah whatever that's very your, dismissive, Dan. Your position, your position. I've been listening to your program. What's our position? For a while, your, your position, your atheist position. What's our position? Your position is that there is no God. No, it's not. That is your position, but no I've one. I've never can said that. There's, yeah. that. there's not enough proof. I've never said that. No, hold on. That there's not enough proof. He's. Right. But I've never said that there is no God. So I'm not. I'm not. No one's proof. giving you the proof, right? Well, it's, he's. I, I thought he was revising. Um, so were you revising to say instead of us saying there is no God, you're saying that we're saying there's not enough proof? I think that's that's what I gather from what I've heard from all your conversations and debates that I've listened to is that your main the main contention is that there's there's not enough proof to any of you that that there's a God. No right. matter what anyone presents to you in the way of archaeological evidence or a biblical or testimonial evidence of any sort from a time period from a couple thousand years ago. Right. It yeah. just seems like you completely dis you do not, you will not acknowledge the relevance of any testimonial evidence other than what's at a university somewhere that, uh, that you, for whatever reason makes sense to you, but, but anything from 2000 plus years ago, it's like, it's it's a like you said earlier. It's a Spider-Man book that was buried in the ground, and then someone dug it up. Well, and so, that just blows my mind that, that that your rationale, that your reasoning, your inference reasoning, is in that infantile state. I mean, I I want to make sure I'm talking with somebody that's intelligent enough to grasp what I'm about to say. Oh, thank you okay. so much. Yeah, so that's really you're welcome. Um, Dave, well, okay. then I'm not sure uh, that uh, very much. So. No, I've got this. Okay. Hi, Dave. Yeah, come on, buddy. All right. 
So here, here's here's how we're going to start this. Uh, if you're going to name call, yeah. uh, you can exit the show. Um, we're going to talk to each other respectfully and kindly. If uh, we raise our voices, I understand it can get heated, but we're going to do our best to have a very productive conversation here. Does that sound good to you, Dave? Sounds great. I haven't name called anybody. You called. You you're said insulted by my. You're insulted by my observation of your show. No, that's, but we're going to continue. So man, here's how we're going to start. Um, so, oh geez, I don't even know where to begin. Jenna, where where do I begin on this? Do you want to know what we think about anything? Uh, that's a good I've start. got a good idea about what you think about on the subject of there being God or no God. That's really the whole platform here is that okay. conversation. Th there's, there's. As far as that's concerned, I don't think you guys have the the, the th information. Okay. I, I just you just don't have it. Right. Well, that's what we're asking for. Yeah. That, that's why we have a show open to be able to talk about it. So we're we're where, we're, we're hosting a show that's asking for information. Yeah, and do you and, realize that? And do you also realize that we're providing. So, so resources. Yeah. So, so the, the example of Spider Man in the comic book, right? Do you know why I provided that example? Let's start there. I can't read your mind. No. Huh? Okay. Cool. Well, that means that I was doing a bad job communicating. So let me try again because I'd like to communicate that. Right. Um, we we use the best tools at our disposal. We use the best tools we have to understand the world around us, right? Our, our, our mental tools, our epistemological toolbox, right? Right. And we use those tools to decipher, you know, uh, everything. When, when you hear something from somebody, what you're doing is you're reaching back in your mind to any experiences that you had that, that involve you interacting in that way and that informs your choices in the future. But there are some times when we learn poorly how to determine what's true and what's not true. Um, an example being, all of my friends did it, therefore it has to be the right thing, right? That's something that, sure. that's something that happens and, and we're like, right. oh, Fear that, you, you know. behavior, I get it. Right, and so, um, well, it's not just learned behavior, it's learned thinking, Right. And so when this when the caller called up and said we had these ancient texts, what I was doing is I was giving an example, not because I, I want to be an asshole or anything like that, but, but that was the best example that I could think.